So hey again, um, I just want to catch up with everybody. It's been a few days. Uh, life's been changing a lot. I'm sure your life's still changing a lot. And I just want to remind you, like I have to remind myself that it's going to keep going. And I know I keep telling you this because one point I wanted to lay down and I thought, I'm done. I can't, I can't do this anymore. And then I had to be honest and say, I don't really have a choice. I'm here for the long haul. And just like the weather seems to be changing around me, my mood is changing, my emotions are changing, my hopes are coming back, creative endeavors that I had are re-emerging. And I just want to remind all of you that there's a part of you inside that is trying to speak to you. There's a part of you that wants you to remember that you're here for a reason. And like I said before, it's either to help somebody else or to learn lessons to help yourself because we all have soul ties we are all all a part of a collective and something greater than ourselves and i was gone from my home for two and a half months for reasons of needing to sort things out and situations that arose that reminded me to remember myself my worth the power that i have and just like my plants back here, they were kind of neglected and a lot of them aren't here anymore, but they hung on even with just the bare minimum of getting by. And, you know, now that I'm back, I've cleaned them up and I'm watching them try to get strong again and make it. And it's the same with all of us that we can clean up our hearts, clean up our minds, clean up the community around us and watch that just kind of expand out more and more and more. And the more that we invest into that which is around us, it begins to ripple out like a wave or a ripple from a pebble. And just the smallest actions start to create big effects. And honestly, there's that concept that what you do in your life you might not see and it's just like martin luther king jr you know he had a great stand that he stood for and he wasn't around to see the fruits of his labor and had he known that being the man he was he probably would not have changed that and it's the same where i stand knowing that I can create a big change for my children and their children and children that go beyond that, that um, it's worth the effort. And if no one else is trying, that's not going to stop me. And I just want to remind all of you that there's healing out there and it, it starts with something small like changing your diet or taking a walk at night and my little dog reminds me every day, we gotta stay active. And you say even the word walk and the girl goes crazy. And it's good though, it's encouraging to remind me that this isn't where your journey ends. You know, this is where it's beginning. And I wanna remind all of you that each day that your journey is just beginning. Don't give up and say, I can't do this anymore. You might be so overwhelmed with debt or needs of repairs or feeling like you're gonna be alone for the rest of your life or unruly children or you can keep going, you know, you know your worries and your woes and um, just don't feel like you're alone. And honestly, if you wanna reach out, just leave a comment down below and I'll talk to you. Let's talk through it, you know, let's do this together. and. I pray regularly. I pray to the universe. I pray to God. I pray to other entities that are greater than myself. And that's the one thing that keeps me going and to remember to be gracious or grateful for the things that I have. And I used to look at it as it's not enough, but to understand that even the smallest um, gift or the smallest smile or just a little kid saying hi you know that those in themselves are blessings because that's heart that that is love shining through the darkness and those little things are the things that keep this world going 
where we're not all overwhelmed with war and violence and political propaganda or corporate endeavors that just tear us down. So, <clears throat> excuse me, just remember that you've got this and that there's a big purpose and we're all going to work together to bring that to fruition. And, you know, without you, the world wouldn't be what it is. And without me, the world wouldn't be what it is. And without hopes and dreams, the world definitely wouldn't be where it is. So don't give up and think that everything is lost. And don't give up on your children, even if they're driving you crazy. And I know that feeling all too well. They're getting older. You know, I remember being 12 like my daughter, and I don't need you to tell me what to do. I know everything, and 15-year-old like my son, and ready to face the world, and not even knowing what I was going into. And if we could all just embrace those attitudes of survival, like strong children, then we could become strong-ass adults. and. We really need to get back with reality of where we've been, where we're going, what's going on. Because you can go to bed each night and just keep waiting for the world to pass you by. Or you can put a little thought into your morning and your day and your night and start having direction on where it's going. Because honestly, no one's going to guide you better than you will guide yourself. And... Today I went for an interview at a, a boutique, uh, it was a CBD boutique dispensary, which seemed odd at first, and then when I walked in, just the concept of the healing and the spirituality and everything that is on the level that I've been on, it's like finding that soul family again. But the, the crazy part was I had set up with the owners to have this interview and they had an open walk-in times. So I go in and they're not around and they're not going to be around for the rest of the week. And I had told myself, well, if it doesn't work out, then it wasn't meant to be. But in the concept of who I spoke to, what we talked about, it was actually almost ordained for me to go meet this person just to be put back on the path that I'm straying from, which is healing and helping others to heal. And I've always been somebody who puts my heart out there 100%. And it's been broken and shattered and taped and glued. And I just have to keep going. And I'm at the point now where when I spoke to this person, they actually helped me understand more than they'll ever know, you know, and it was funny because that person had met somebody with the name of Sheena, my name, two weeks prior and had never met anybody with that name before. And I only laughed and joked and said the universe has a way of preparing us for who we're going to meet. And just remember to look at all the small things that I could have gone in and said, you know, they wasted my time. That's shitty. You know, they set the time up for me and they knew. And honestly, in the end, I, like I said, it was a great conversation and it was with somebody I would have never met otherwise. And, um, I can only be grateful that that person reminded me of where my heart lies and that my intentions have always been to help you and help me so we can all heal and begin to help each other. You know, there's that. Just move forward and keep going because when you don't have love, there's really nothing worth having. And when you don't have intention, you're aimlessly wandering through life waiting. And when you're waiting, you're willing to accept something that you would have never accepted had you had intention. And I just want to remind you to start setting your intentions. Know what it is you want and focus on those things. Work for those things and move forward graciously in life. Move knowing where you're going. And you don't have to have the exact X on the map. You know, you don't have to know 
exactly how it's going to turn out. You only need to know that what you're doing serves a greater good and that you will help everything come together in time. So if I can bring you anything, it's hopefully a peace of mind, a drive, inspiration, peace, and an outlet for you to vent when you feel like everything is gone. Love and light and peace out till next time.